This morning in the Eagle Studio, Barrett Platt with us. Barrett, good morning. Morning. And Barrett, we're talking about Mental Health Week, Eden Foundation, Recovery of Hope. What's your role there, Barrett? I'm a counselor at Recovery of Hope, so I see clients in the evenings and, yeah, mostly work with families uh, and children. And so working with families and children has got to be uh, unique to some other situations. What do you enjoy about working with these families? I think I, I really enjoy working with families and children, with parents and children at the same time, solving problems together. I think often parents come to me when they're feeling kind of like at their wits end about how to how to work with their kids. And so I, I like hearing the parents' perspective and bringing the kids in and helping the parents and kids communicate and solve, solve the problems that are making family life tough. And sometimes, you know, uh, parents and, and kids communicating, it can be tough. So they speak different languages at times. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. And I think that we... We sometimes imagine that our kids are pushing our buttons on purpose when really they're just trying to figure stuff out themselves. Yes, they are. And we were talking on the radio about some of the things that, uh, you know, kids are dealing with these days that can be tough on their mental health. And one of them you, you mentioned was self-esteem issues that sometimes stems from being on a cell phone too much. Yeah, I think social media can be really tough for kids. I think it it, it often hurts kids' body image because they look at these pictures of people with filters who look like they have beautiful skin and they look perfect and and it's not actually real but because you see so many images of people who look perfect you think oh I I look terrible or you see them having these great adventures and and living what looks like amazing lives and you think my life isn't anything like that well how could I be happy and uh, those are things that uh, are, isn't just specific to young people on their phones. It happens to everybody. And uh, so kind of slowing that down, are there ways you can do that or, or take time off the phone? Because we all really enjoy doing it. Right. Yeah, I think, I think it's really hard to just say, okay, I'm not going to be on my phone. Mm-hmm. It's a lot easier to say what you're going to do instead. So instead of going on my phone this afternoon, I'm going to draw a picture or I'm going to go for a walk outside or something like that. I'm going to go play basketball with my dad or with my kid. Yeah. And so oh, if, if being on the phone and watching these videos and being on Instagram and things like that can do these damaging things with someone's self-esteem, why do you think we're always doing it? What, what makes us keep scrolling and keep going? Well, I mean, at the far end of the scale, phones can actually be like a diagnosable addiction, right? Mm-hmm. So I think that the, the tech companies are smart. They want us to look at ads or they want us to scroll scroll through the, the phones as much as possible. The more our eyes are on the screen, the more chance they have to make money from us. <laughs> Absolutely. They make, it, uh, they make it that way, right? And so during Mental Health Week, uh, one of the things that we could do is kind of disconnect and try to get outside and, and kind of feel what our bodies are feeling. Absolutely. You know, this and this time of year, it People are excited to finally get outside. It's warming up. The grass is green. The trees have leaves now. And and um, even there's there's research that says that even looking at a tree is good for your mood and your <laughs> mental health. So if you get outside and look at 20 trees on a walk, that's even 20 times better. And there's loads of different things you could uh, you could be doing outside. And you you said that your favorite thing to do is canoeing. <laughs> yeah, we we go canoeing in the wilderness. We try to get out a couple of times a summer. And I mean that's perfect for cell phone addiction because we're we go, we can often get to places where there's an even cell phone service. Yeah, and, and one tip and your cell phone's gone. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> there we go. Bear, thanks so much for uh, for coming in this morning. All right, thanks. Thanks for having me. Hey, I'm Ronnie Gunther. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you have something going on in the community and you want to share it on the morning show, we'd love to have you. Send us an email at news at PeminaValleyOnline.com. If you like the video, give it a like and share it with your friends. We'll see you next time.